Hello everyone and I hope you're having a great day today. So today we are doing three houses all on this little lot here in Oasis Springs and they are all similar but also have different defining features and layouts and stuff as we will see as we go along. They are little houses that are three stories high and they are also made out of some natural materials that you kind of find about about the place not really in a desert environment per se but they they have a sort of eco-ish <laughs> eco-ish type of vibe to them so we're working on the first house which i had to cut because i was just messing up with no end we're trying to figure it out to make the back and the front the same each house has lots of little balconies and stuff on them and they all have different colours as well so this one's an orange one with a darker sort of little jutty outfit with brick and other ones uh, have a more sort of stonework or more wood to them depending on what type of house it is it was really hard to match the windows to some nice ones because I wanted to have I wanted to have some plain, sort of smaller windows. This is what we need. We need some like half size of the the full length ones to put everywhere. That would make the house super perfect. But I had to use the the three ones, which are a little bit a little bit annoying to use. And I don't don't particularly like using them, but they they fit better than the ones that I've got at the moment. And the houses are all furnished differently as well. We'll just see one house being furnished in this video and then you, you can have a look at the other furnishes in the screenshots as well. So it kind of goes to different sizes on the, the different floors as well. And a lot of the little side bits are stairwells and stuff. We do a lot of landscaping out in front and all sorts of fun stuff as well i have said as well like five times in a row and this weekend i'm doing something super super fun i'm going to go for for shoring if you don't know what that means it means literally going down to a beach and seeing what seeing what you can find there is lots of dockyards in london so it's the perfect place to go find some really old stuff that's been washed up on the beach. We have, me and my friend have found some stuff beforehand. We found a, I think it's, like people think it's like a Tudor shoe or something like that. And we found it on like the Oxo building <laughs> on that part of the beach. So I hope we find something super interesting on the, sa on the Sunday, I think it is. And we're going, going to a gallery tour on the Saturday as well which is a gallery I've never been to before in North London so that's going to be fun as well. I'm in a super busy weekend so <laughs> this week is just literally like let's film a load of sim stuff and lots of people coming to a uh, person coming to stay as well and lots of things going off later on in the week. I want to go see Godzilla as well because that looks just like a fun, <laughs> fun disaster movie, which is always good. You need, you need a good destroying wherever it is based this time. And by the looks of it, it looks like we're gonna get a Kong vs. Godzilla movie as well, which is even more exciting <laughs> than actual, just a normal film. I hope, I hope that's good. Hopefully I'll be seeing it when this comes out or the day after. So that should be, should be fun. <laughs> Something to do with my life. <laughs> and on, on the third house now, so you can see the one in the middle is more brick and you've got some blue going on there. And they all have, like, the one in the middle is the one we're going to furnish. So it's a little bit smaller than the rest of them. But it's all you can if you wanted to download these houses you can do off the gallery and add your own own personality into it because the two ones that i do furnish off camera i try to keep quite basic so it's kind of not too much <laughs> not too much personality in them so you could 
add in your own own sims and kind of custom it customize it to them as well i want to have all the the ones that raised up as well on the all on the all foundation so you've got a little bit of definition between the the ground and the, the actual buildings themselves especially as we're in one of the lots that has the green the green grass on it and the one to make some gardens cactus gardens and stuff out the front so it was important to define the space a little and have have it so there is a clear definition between the building and the, the landscaping around it as well I mean the landscaping changes a bit with like the fences and stuff as we go on because at the moment we've only got we've only got the cactus garden going to a certain point behind the houses and then I did the fence like really far back <laughs> from the from the back of the houses so I kind of changed that off camera and moved it like a bit further forward got a few palm trees and stuff about because I thought that would be quite a nice feature as well to add in and I was doing the the fence so it doesn't connect to the foundation so it actually looks as though you've got a little a little border around and it also gives us a nice thing to clean up all the sand and stuff around the place so it's all nice and neat and tidy and obviously we have to make sure we can put post boxes and the, the stairs in as well because I, I really wanted the, the foundation to go all the way to the edge but obviously with the stairs it's super annoying we can't have it on that last little little block outside so you can kind of see here we can jump in into the furnishing we've got all the other houses are furnished we've got some paving and stuff about and we're keeping the inside super clean and super white as well so as you can imagine this is in a in a quite hot place or sort of temperate temperate place so you want to keep the inside nice and clean and airy so this is our smallest house so we've got this nice little cozy living room at the front of the house as soon as you walk in and I want to keep it quite quite like spacious <laughs> not too much clutter in it as well putting a few family photos on the wall obviously we have to have Jerry he is the main the main sim <laughs> and he gets everywhere but this house was quite quite fun at doing a three different houses that look very similar so have very different different styles and stuff and then in the back here we have our kitchen and dining area keeping it super white as well in here just to make it look as though there's a lot of space because it is that's quite a small build <laughs> which is always nice especially doing some bigger builds than going to a small build is always fun because it's throws up lots of different challenges and stuff we also fit in a dining table on the side here as well because there's a little bit that juts out into the porch area so it was a nice place to put a dining table and I just put it against the wall because then <laughs> then your sims can get around in these little most of these houses are built for like four sims at the like five at a push if you've got like a toddler or something like that but they're not they're not very big houses so it'd probably be a little bit of a <laughs> collision having lots and lots of sims in here and this is where i couldn't find the flipping parenthood board i was just like flicking through the catalog <laughs> like where where is it i want to put it in this exact location i really can't find it even though i've been finding it perfectly fine the you know, entire rest of the time as soon as it gets recording it's just like bleh. <laughs> cannot focus anymore <laughs> forgets where everything is in catalog <laughs> and then all those like equation come up They're like where in catalog is this <laughs> we've got a little bathroom at the bottom as well and make sure to have a bathroom on every floor because it is three floors and you don't want your sims running it down to another one and it being used by someone else as well so on the first floor we have a kids bedroom and a study area i think as well these two floor this floor has the access to the balconies so you can probably lock those doors if you don't want your sims going out this one's quite a white and blue themed bedroom so getting the most most out of space and a very very gender neutrally 
sort of verging on a girl's bedroom but obviously it's all all down to what sims will be in the habitating of this <laughs> this house. And I was just checking whether the rooms were similar size as this one has. I wanted to have some like big big bedrooms up on the top. This is kind of just your basic skill building areas. We've got some nice built in bookshelves, we've got a family computer, we've got a keyboard and a painting easel as well. We've got a few things up on the wall to like for like school stuff, school projects and trophies and stuff, kind of where they can kind of keep all their stuff like that and show off a little bit. <laughs> and we've also got another bathroom here which we furnish off camera, hopefully. <laughs> can I remember when, when, whether I do bathrooms or not? In the hallway we just got basic stuff, a plant, a rug and a nice little built-in cabinet area. So at the front here, I think it is, yeah, the front, we have a teen's bedroom, so we've got a little bit more space up here because the front juts out a little bit longer. We're going for a very blue theme in here as well. I think because this, this is the blue wood panelling on the side, so I was like, this, this house is going to be blue themed. <laughs> Some of the other ones are a little bit more orangey and all sorts of stuff like that, so this is the blue house <laughs> to go along with my mood. <laughs> blue, sad and depressing. Yeah. Not, not sad and depressed, but <laughs> you can, we can go along with that if we want. <laughs> We've got a laptop in here and a one of the new desks and the chairs as well, and some of the paintings on the floor, which kind of fit in nicely as well. And then we've got the nice bright blue walls and stuff just to make it a little bit more colourful in there. And then in the master bedroom I put in some built in wardrobes because they fitted in very nicely. Obviously in the master bedroom you don't put that much stuff in it. So I thought it was quite nice to make it a little bit more simple. We've got that nice blue canyon post picture up as well which I've been using in a few of my more deserty style builds that I've been doing and we've got some more blue <laughs> blue carpet and stuff in there as well. We've got a lot longer hallway in here and putting some of the, the Strangerville posters up in there and we've got a bathroom as well. And then outside we've got a nice small seating area and a few skill building stuff as well and you can see the gardens of the other houses as well. And that is it for our little build. So here are the screenshots. I hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, feel free to give it a like. And if you'd like to see any more builds, then feel free to subscribe. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye!